looking at your glass and saying, when, when are we going to be there? So, I have the beauty of everybody telling you about this event and what an amazing event it is and how, how gracious we are that you are all here tonight. So, I get to go rather quick. Um, I'll tell you what, first of all, kudos are always given out by Lisa Severn. And she doesn't get enough that she should. So, everybody, I'd really like to recognize her for everything that she does. Because this wouldn't be what it is. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, six amazing winemakers joining us. Uh, we're going to kind of take you on a tour. As you heard, the chef has created a, a culinary kind of masterpiece. Each dish has two different components to it. Uh, my challenge was finding wines that I thought would would uh, change the profile when you try them both together, and make you think about the wine and the art of food winery. It's a really bad job trying a lot of wine, so had to do that. It's wonderful. So I wanted to kind of uh, ask each winemaker to stand up as we're very, very honored to have these guests here with us tonight. So your first wine you're going to be enjoying this evening is from Mr. Lucio Gomiero from the Veneto. You're going to be doing Our next wine tonight, we have Marc Perret joining us from the Rhone Valley in France. <laughs> and the third wine of Pinot Noir that we enjoy this evening is from Ron and Lynn Penner Ash. I know they're in here. Where are you? Thank you so much. I love that Pinot. And then our fourth wine tonight, we have a very good friend of mine over the years. We have Sean Boyd. Local winemaker, Woodville Wine Cellars, makes a stunning Cabernet Franc. And where are you at, Sean? Very well that wine. Uh, Nate Corks is a gentleman I've also got to know over the last couple of years. He's Brett Deleuze of ZE Winery. Uh, family run business, again, what we're all about here. So, Brett, thank you so much. Of course, we're going into our dessert wines this evening. We're uh, I have a wine regret, but we're going to be pouring for this beautiful uh, Chef Michelle and Rick. I just want to tell you something, a real treat. And then, of course, uh, another good friend I've also got to know over the years, Mr. Christian Sparkman, who, if you're out there enjoying that taste of Toledo bread, that's Mr. Chris right here. Let me tell you, wine here. So, I want to thank you. He's our partner this year for Tasting Toledo. Each year, we reach out to uh, a winery that uh, you know, we feel it kind of carries our core values as well, of the family, friends, and if you get to know Christian, as Lisa was saying earlier, this is, you're going to see a video here briefly, and you're going to get what he, his winery, and his family are all about, and that's what we're about here, so, Christian, I want to thank you for uh, doing that blend with us, it's, it's something else, I'm sure you all tried it, amazing wine, so, what I'd like to do is have Leslie come back up here, and uh, we're going to let you watch this beautiful video, again, everybody, thank you for being here for our fourth annual taste of Toledo. This means I get to get some wine in your glass here in the morning.